Yes, Virgil passed away. And it notes here best known for his run as Ted DiBiase's bodyguard Virgil in the late 80s, early 90s. That, that would have been his, his most famous run. But I will say that when I, when I think of Virgil, Mike Jones, the one thing that sticks out to me more than anything else is, man, could that guy hustle. I mean... <laughs> Exactly. Boy, was he... It, when it comes to, like, being able to hustle... Because here's the thing. Wrestling superstar Virgil. Everybody... Everybody who was a star in that mid to late 80s WWF period... Like, I mean, they were a star. Even if they weren't Hulk Hogan. You know, Honky Tonk Man and... You know, like, all those guys. Like, everybody knew those guys if you were a wrestling fan. And Virgil was not like a big star. He was he was DiBiase's bodyguard. Everybody knew him, but you know it wasn't like he was a contender for the title or anything like that. He was a bodyguard, and then he split away, which was a big angle. And then he went off on his own, and he really didn't do much really on his own. And then you know, of course, later he ended up going to uh, to WCW. And it was like the same thing. Like, he was there. He was a guy who was there. And like, during the the boom period of the 80s and the boom period of the 90s, he was just always around. But not like doing anything, you know what I'm saying? But he was always there. And then when it was... But then it was when it was over, it was like... He always found a way. I mean, he was like, you know, probably making millions or anything close to that. But, like, he always found a way to capitalize on what fame he developed in the 80s and 90s. And, yeah, everyone, you know, they make fun of the picture, wrestling superstar Virgil or everything like that. But but that's part of it. He worked that, too. But my point is, like, you know, this that picture thing. of him all by himself and nobody there, it's like, you know, you can get a picture of anybody doing that at some point. <laughs> I mean, for crying out loud, people take all the pictures, you know, let's go to, I saw pictures from, um, you know, somebody on, on Twitter was, they, they took a photo of the Australia WWE show, which had like 50,000 people in the stadium, but they took it in such a way that like the floor looked totally empty. <laughs> and it's like, dude, there were 50,000 people in the building. Like they got to shoot the pyro from somewhere. And unless you want to shoot that pyro from like under your butt <laughs> on your seat, like there's got to be a bunch of empty space. It's just how they fit. They, like, what are we doing here? Or, hey, you know, one time I went to a, an AEW pay-per-view and I was I was sitting, uh, I guess it would have been opposite the hard cam. So I took a picture of whatever was in the ring and like you could see the empty area because that's where they put the hard cam. They do it for WWE, they do it for AW, and like you could see empty seats and people were like, "Oh, there's nobody there." <laughs> it's like there's thirteen thousand people in the building. What are you talking about? So yeah, of course you could find some pictures of Virgil with nobody there, but there were lots of days where he was there and he had a crowd and he sold gimmicks and exactly good for him signing pictures of him sitting there empty and alone. Great, I mean, that's the whole thing. And you know what? Unlike a lot of guys. Brian, and maybe my memory could be poor about this, but look how many guys after WCW closed and ROH became a thing, we saw all of those shoot videos come out. We saw all the shoot interviews where essentially some guys were very truthful about it, and other guys, if you just paid them enough and gave them some gimmicks and sat them down, they would tell you anything. And he actually stayed out on the scene and was able to acquire money and was able to keep his name out there not doing those. Like, he seems to be the one guy. I mean, even Shawn Michaels did an RF shoot video. I mean, there were so many people that did them. I don't remember Mike Jones, Soul Train Jones, Virgil ever doing one of those so maybe he did but he didn't have to live off them like a lot of people do he just went out every weekend and sold his gimmicks did his thing told his olive garden breadstick story oh hey sandman's got go. a story you want no story yeah. sandman here says the guy basically saw me to convention told me to come over to him i didn't we chatted he saw my wwe encyclopedia and said I have three photos in there. I will sign your book for 30 bucks or something like that. I love it. And he would not give back my encyclopedia until <laughs> I agreed. 
<laughs> uh, Carney's Carney. Somebody said it was a Lucha Gato. Somebody said it earlier in the chat and everything. Look, just a, a natural hustler going out there, living off his name. And I, I don't think hurting anybody in the process. And I think that's another thing. Well, I mean, he hurt Sandman's checkbook here, but I mean, <laughs> did, that's just a little guess. thing. You were at a convention. You knew we were going to spend money, brother. Well, look, and look how many wrestlers out there have, you know, on the independent scene, you know, have come across Virgil because he was out every weekend as people were on their rises and on their descents again throughout their career. You know, he's a guy that's always kind of been there doing these conventions and doing all this stuff. So, again, sad goes way too early. I, I didn't expect this. I mean, he is so young. And yeah, it's that sad sucks. that it's, it's it, that, that that's happened. But I tell you... You know, you want to talk about, hey, you weren't the champion of the world or anything like that. I don't know what the dude did with his money. Maybe he really needed to be out there hustling. Maybe he just wanted to be near his friends and part of the action. You know, I, I don't know. But what I do know is you can be successful in this profession and never be the world heavyweight champion, never main event pay-per-views, never have a four- or five-star match. But you can be there getting that check and being, again, keeping your name in for so long, even if it was ridiculous that he became Vincent and that he became Shane and he became Wild Curly Bill or whatever it was. Like, that is ridiculous. But, hey, a 20-year wrestling career is a 20-year wrestling career. And Sandman goes, and the next day, try to do it again. After my friend <laughs> said he had no money for an autograph, he turned to me and said, if you buy one more, I'll sign his for free. <laughs> I looked and said, no, you already got three off me. He says, I learned my lesson. He tried it the second day. <laughs> yeah, I got to say, like, you know, there's a lot of horrible carny things wrapped around pro wrestling, but there's also some largely harmless carny things that I still laugh at to this day. It's a carny business. I'm sorry. Look, it's, it's three-card Monty. I mean, honestly, there are some... You learn your lesson as a fan. You learn your lesson out there walking the street, you know, when you what person to stop by and maybe what person not to in some cases because they'll wrap you up with their with their rap and Virgil could do that to people, I guess. You have the Peacock app, Granny. It tells me that I'm not on it anymore. Well, you better start logging in cuz I've been paying for it every month. I don't care anyway. I don't like it. Use Peacock or I'm going to stop paying for it. You can if you want to. Start from 1929. Who was president? Okay. Who was I'll... president when I was alive? That was Donald late. Trump. Some Shut up. Well, let me do it. Okay. <laughs> up till 1933, it was Herbert Hoover. Hmm. Herbert Hoover. Yeah, and he was uh, 50. 50 uh, he was our 31st president. <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.